I know the NFL trade deadline is approaching in less than, I think, 10 days, October 31st. So yep. what is a trade that you that you think makes sense or that you would like to see go down? Well, look, obviously the football trade deadline isn't like the NBA, you know, where it's act right. usually more active in the NBA. Um, but I think I'll just say a few teams that should be looking. I think uh, Dallas should be looking to strengthen that defensive backfield. And, you know, the question is, will Denver become Ooh. a seller? You know, right. um, obviously they let Randy Gregory go. Frank Clark's gone. Jerry Judy's been on the trade block. So you want, I think Dallas might try to strengthen their defensive backfield. Same with Philadelphia. Uh, Philadelphia, as good as they are, they could use some help in that defensive backfield too. So those are teams I love. Philly was my pick to win the whole thing. So I love to see them go out and, and strengthen their uh, defensive backfield. I think that's their biggest weakness. Yeah, um, sure. But I, I'm watching, like I said, Denver to see if they really start selling off players. And if they trade too many of their vets, that really would probably be a precursor to Russell Wilson maybe being let go this summer. Mm. And, and then, you know, they try to start all over with Sean Payton. Maybe they draft a quarterback and try to have Sean Payton make something out of him. But um, we'll see how that plays out. But, yeah, I, I'm looking for at those two teams. Kansas City, I definitely have concerns about their receiving core. But yeah. they obviously just added McCole Hardman, brought him back. Right. So, I, you know, I, we'll see if they think that's enough for them um, because their offense just hasn't been clicking like it should be. And I think the main reason is because they don't have top flight receivers or anything close. So those are some of the teams that I think, you know, that are obviously in this championship mix need to make some moves. Now Saquon Barkley, that's another one that, you know, could he be moved? I mean, uh, obviously several teams could use him Baltimore. I'd love to see him there. That's Although they're they're running backs produced, but Buffalo, um, he would you know they Buffalo is too Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs centric, and so if they could bring in a Saquon Barkley who can not only run but catch the ball, that might be a good move for them. So those are some of the teams that I think should be active and, and looking to be active at the deadline. For sure, I'm glad you said Baltimore. One, do you think uh, Derrick Henry gets moved this year? Yeah, you know he's always brought up and. Do you think this yeah, is the year? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, he obviously is Tennessee's entire offense. Right. Um, and if you trade, look, they're probably not going anywhere anyway. But they're still competitive. Um, and, you know, they're better. That division and, and Tennessee in, in general are better than I expected. But at the end of the day, they're not getting to the Super Bowl. So, yeah, they could move Henry. I'm not sure. My guess, if you ask me, gun to my head, I would say no, he doesn't get moved. But, you know, don't hold me to that. Anything is possible. But I think he'll stay. Their their biggest problem, I mean, they've got a lot of issues, but clearly they need a quarterback. You know, if they had a a competent quarterback, just like Tannehill a couple years ago when he played well, you know, they were right there in the mix uh, to get out of the AFC. And so that's their biggest problem. Until they get that fixed, they're they're just going to be mediocre. Yeah, and I know there's a lot of teams that probably need a quarterback, and there's a few good backups that could possibly make a difference. Um, I know one of the backups that come to mind is like a Jameis Winston. I know he's you know he's got experience being the lead guy, and right now he's playing behind Carr, but that situation is kind of dicey in itself, so you never know when they're going to make a switch there. Do you think there could be a quarterback on the move, and who are you looking out for there? Yeah, I mean, Winston <sighs> – you would have thought the Jets might have looked at him. You know, yeah. he was a name that came yeah. up when, when Aaron Rodgers went down. And they obviously, you know, Kirk Cousins was another one. I, I thought they should have went out and got I thought they should have looked at Carson Wentz too. But they they clearly are standing pat with Zach Wilson. Um, so I don't know where Jameis could, could end up going. I mean, Atlanta, you know, Desmond Ritter, I don't think he's the answer. So that's a team that has a great run game. And if they just got a quarterback, they could be a team, especially in that division, uh, the NFC South, which is pretty weak. Uh, they could make some noise. So they could be looking to do something. But, yeah, New Orleans, you mentioned Carr and the shaky situation there. I've really been disappointed with him. Um, I thought he, you know, 
in in, in with the Raiders, he always kind of had cover because they never had really good defenses. Right. So people didn't really put the blame for their lack of success on him. Um, but now, I mean, they got a great defense, the sixth ranked defense in the league in New Orleans. You got a great receiving core. Um, and even a run, you know, Alvin Kamara is a running back and Carr's just not holding up his end of the bargain. It's just simple as that. They're, they're terrible in the red zone. Carr's not throwing touchdowns. I think he has seven, uh, eight maybe or in seven games or something. I don't even think it's eight. Actually, I think it's six in seven games. And so um, he's just got to be much better. And if he's not, like you said, maybe they make a change. Now, I think Dennis Allen is a horrible offensive coach. I mean, I know he's not the offensive guy, but still, the defense is legit. They got to get somebody in there to fix that offense because they do have talent at the skill spots. And again, Definitely. Derek Carr is, we think, an above average quarterback. So they need to get somebody in there to get that right as well. Yeah, I agree. I think we all saw that last Thursday against Jacksonville. Um, cool. They kind of they had it, and then I mean they away. did the drop pass. I don't want to. I don't want to yeah. pile on the Foster Moreau, but <laughs> right. Yeah, I saw drop. that. That was that was tough to to watch yeah, on his part. But, yeah, for sure.